In this video, we sit down with Pamela Merritt from Repro Action and Candace Bonterio from the National LGBTQ Task Force to discuss how advocacy is related to reproductive justice and to learn what are the best ways to get involved. Providing healthcare is advocacy, right? It's literally about survival, right? That's the whole point of healthcare is to help other people survive, right? Like how is that not activism? How is that not advocacy? How is that not celebrating humanity? So that's one, right, is a reframing of what advocacy looks like and what activism means um, and, you know, claiming it and not being afraid to claim that that's the work that you're doing, I think is really important. And people need to learn about reproductive justice framework from the beginning, right? Like, it's not something that you add on later if you want to be an activist. Like, if you want to be a, like, human being, you need to learn the reproductive justice framework and how to see people as whole people, right? Um, so it's about the physical, it's about the mental, it's about the cultural and knowing all of those differences and, like, being able to be, like, wrong, right? And being able to be called out for it and held accountable and, you know, creating space for, like, messing up, right? Like, we're all going to mess up. Like, there is no, like, perfect road to liberation, which is, you know, the messiness is, like, where the work is, right? So when things are uncomfortable and messy, that's when you really need to tend to them and need to get through it, right? And it is so powerful to have a, a doctor um, lobby. I tell everybody I know that if you have never done direct lobbying, um, you need to do it just because, first of all, you'll lose all fear of elected officials and realize how many of them don't know what they're talking about and aren't that intimidating. The second thing is that you'll realize that they will literally look a doctor, an OBGYN, in the, in the eye and say, I don't believe you um, about very basic things. Um, we actually had um, people saying, I don't believe that women die as a result of childbirth in hospitals, that, that I just don't believe you. So, it's a, so that will have a lasting impact and change the way doctors view um, advocacy. We have seen somebody come back from a lobby day and then five of their colleagues came down because they obviously shared what had happened. They're like, they need to hear from more doctors, and they do. Um, they need to hear about the impact of not expanding Medicaid and what it's like to have to amputate a limb that, for a treatable thing like diabetes. Um, what it's like to have patients who are rationing insulin because the price of it. Um, they need to hear it from people, they need to hear it from advocates, and they need to hear it from medical providers because what you, what, what's happening is there's an entire industry that is opposed to healthcare knowledge and women's rights that is down there all the time. As far as direct action goes, direct action is, is a different kind of advocacy. And I obviously strongly believe in it. Uh, you know, as a queer black woman, every single right I have was won in the streets. So there's not a single thing that I get to do on a daily basis, not a single right that I get to take part in, that somebody didn't hit the streets and apply pressure, and then ultimately that resulted in legislative or legal change. So I'm a big believer in it, but I think when you take direct action, you're in a group of people and you're speaking direct truth to power, it's, sometimes it's not even about getting a change. It's, it's about letting the public know everybody's not okay with this. And when we take direct action on infant and maternal mortality, we have people every single time come up to us and say, I didn't realize that that's happening in my city. I had no idea that that many people were dying. I didn't realize this is a fake clinic, that they could lie to me. Um, they don't know. so. Uh, you can't blame a public for what they're not doing if we're not educating the public. And the best, most efficient, and most empowering way to do that is direct action.